Yeah. You're going on tour in, in October and people will be able to see you in the flesh again. Well, really excited, really, because, uh, because of the coronavirus, we haven't really been to Europe or the UK for like a good two and a half, possibly nearly three years. Something that, that a lot of your fans will be looking forward to seeing is that famous sneer that you tend to do with your lips. <laughs> <laughs> and there were millions of people across the world who, who adore you and who still adore you today and, and still shout your lyrics and it's a testament to the people who will be coming to see you live. I mean, do you think it was that pressure w which led to you having a few sort of difficult moments, you know, with drugs and alcohol throughout your life? You're kind of just looking for an alternative way to live in some ways. So you're sort of trying a lot of things out. But, you know, uh, hopefully, like what I've done is I've managed to sort of get control of myself and uh, create a bit of discipline. I was able to put a lot of the heavy, hard stuff on the back burner. And I, don't, I don't go looking for it anymore. Another remarkable story of yours is that this could have all been over back in the 90s when you had a really serious accident in, 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 in Hollywood, right? Exactly. I mean, it was getting like I was you know, almost committing suicide almost a little bit while what I was doing. So I had to get control of myself. And the, the motorcycle accident was a really good example of the bad things that start happening because you're a little bit out of your gourd, so to speak. That must have been quite terrifying. I badly damaged my leg, which I wasn't sure if they, I was going to be able to keep it. You've lived here in America for a long time. And you will have seen a great deal throughout your time here, how this country has changed. Now, I remember reading an interview in, 19, in, the late, in the early 90s where you were talking about the fact that you were opening your window and you were seeing all the, flu the smoke from the riots, the Rodney King riots at the time. Yeah. I mean, what was that like in looking, looking at today and seeing that there are still issues in American society? With well, that's the reality? thing about America. I mean, uh, I feel I've been watching that America coming to grips with their problems and trying to deal with it as best they can. And it's, it's a slow process, but... Hopefully it's happening, you know, and uh, I hope there'll be some sort of resolution. I get a sense that you're not ready for the curtains to come down just yet. Yeah, we've got this new EP we've done. There's a little bit more coming at you than the first one we did last year. I think if the music wasn't any good, you know, yeah, maybe I would just be a granddad, you know. But, you know, the fact we've got something good to play. I mean, I've got a killer band. That's the other thing, too. And, you know, then Compadre and Steve Stevens, he's, he's great. And, you know, it's just... They're great guys to work with, and so it's, it's a fun thing. It's just still got that element of fun that we were looking for when we first started out, you know.